Hey, my name's Josh, I'm a personal trainer and I specialize in helping men who suffer from steatopedia, which is excess fat in the buttocks, to help them to improve their body confidence and self-image. Now, today I want to talk about dealing with feeling shame and being ashamed of your body as a man who suffers from steatopedia, which is excess fat in your ass, basically. Now, if you've been experiencing this or suffering from this for years, then you might know exactly what I'm talking about in terms of feeling ashamed and embarrassed about your body. Me personally, I've been, I've had this for as long as I know. For as long as I was growing up from even as young as age seven, eight, I've noticed I had abnormally large glutes. Um, even though I was really skinny, I was a skinny boy, but I had a really fat ass and upper thighs as well to the point where I imagined and I, I wished that I would get plastic surgery when I was older. That was my plan, literally. I was gonna just get rid of it just so I could have a normal body like all the other kids and all the other boys that I knew in my class and, and friends I knew growing up. Like I couldn't understand it. I knew it was genetics because my mum had a similar body type, but I felt as a man, as a boy, I shouldn't have it. Like literally in the whole class growing up, I'd have the biggest glutes, more than all the girls. Obviously after puberty, things change, but it was very embarrassing growing up. And you know, growing up you get teased, even until age, probably up until age 16, you'd have people, even even past that, at that age, I mean, you wouldn't get teased as an older person, but people would still comment. So growing up, okay, as younger, you know, you might get rude comments or, you know how kids are, but, you might have a comment, someone might call you, say you look like a baboon or you look like a monkey because your, mom, your bum sticks out. Now, I wouldn't, back in the day, I didn't even see this as racial because my class was fully multi multicultural. There was white kids, Asian kids, black kids. Um, so it was purely to the way I walked because I'd walk, my bum would be sticking out because that's how my body looked. I was very active. I played football, I played all the sports, so I was really skinny in my upper body, but my glutes and my upper thighs were just fat. I'd be playing sports five times a week. My mum wouldn't. Generally, we'd go for McDonald's once a week if, we were, if, if I was lucky. So it wasn't a case of being fat. It's just how my body stored any fat that I did have. Uh, so it was very embarrassing growing up. Um, and yeah, tears growing up. And even as you get older, people, have comments before I got into training people would say why do I walk like that why do I why is my bum always sticking out and it didn't help with the clothes I was wearing at the time so I'd wear really baggy jeans a baggy top and literally I'd have a skinny upper body and then the glutes would just pop out the jeans would pop out and it was like a bowling pin from the side very embarrassing um, not something that I was proud of and I really wasn't proud of my body growing up um, and essentially, you know, a reason why you might feel ashamed other than those experiences growing up or you might even have comments today, generally these are feminine traits, you know, a big booty, a big back, like a back off or whatever slang you might use or whatever term you call it or just big glutes are generally something that are uh, desired in women, generally, uh, especially now with the Kim K's and Beyonce's and, and Serena Williams, like, you know, these women with curvy features are really admired and it's not generally something that you want as a man. I mean, don't get me wrong. It seems that men with glutes are desired, but that's only as of recent. And if your bum is rivaling those of a woman, then that's a bit too much. Uh, I felt in my opinion, opinion anyway, like you might be, I mean, everyone's different. Um, but you know, I hated it personally. Um, so yeah, having the feminine traits is another reason why you might feel ashamed. Also, looking abnormal. So typically, men don't have big glutes. There were, I mean, especially growing up, uh, you look at all the all the people you look up to. Growing up, Michael Jordan, David Beckham. Um, you know, these men didn't have huge glutes. Like there was very few that you would associate with this. Um, so you couldn't help but 
you know, and no one else that you grow up, like let's say you're in school, no one else in your class looks the way you do. Um, you feel like you're, you're the only one that has this problem. So you feel like you look abnormal, like a bit of a freak. And that's very hard to deal with. So, you know, all these mental issues play a part. Maybe you're dealing with issues with women as well. Maybe girls don't find you attractive. Maybe they're going for other guys. And it's just, it's all a bit much. It can be all a bit much when you're growing up. Um, so yeah, so these are a number of reasons. I mean, I might be the only one who's, who has experienced all of these, but it was, yeah, it wasn't, I mean, it wasn't the end of the world. It wasn't like I was depressed or anything, but it's probably what drove me to work so hard in the gym, like literally in the gym six days a week, um, you know, just loving it, really getting into it and really having the drive because a lot of people fail to succeed when it comes to the gym and training because the, the drive isn't, it's not enough for them, they're all right. Like, but imagine going through this from age eight to 18, like dealing with all of these issues. Um, you know, it's gonna make you go a bit nuts in the gym. <laughs> so uh, like I said, I started off, I wanted to get surgery, but I realized I could change it with training. I realized, hold on, why don't, instead of me getting rid of it, why don't I just balance out my body with training? Why don't I just, just you know, I see it, I, I describe it as using the crayons that, that God gave you. If you believe in God, then that's what I believe. Obviously, if you're an atheist, then you can just say the genetic, uh, the genetic uh, lottery um, gave me a hand of well-built glutes. Um, so I just had to develop the rest and it, it just gave me the drive, really. Um, you know, I remember starting off, I would only, this shit was only focusing on my upper, upper body. Because I didn't want to build my lower body any, anymore. And it got to the point where I almost overdone my upper body to the point where people would accuse me. And now they body shame me and embarrass me for having small legs. It's like you can't win. But I'd rather that than, uh, than all the other stuff I had to deal with. Um, so yeah, so just a little, you know, bit of a deep one today. Um, if you're feeling a bit embarrassed about your body, about, you know, what you've been given. Trust me, you're not alone. But you can make it your biggest asset um by training the rest of your body and and essentially and the thing about glutes they're really hard to grow like if you don't have any glutes i mean there's going to be people wishing they had glutes like you literally wishing they had glutes they can't get glutes um i mean there's gonna be a lot of women wishing that and there's gonna be some men as well because glutes seem to be the in thing curves is the in thing um so yeah it's a blessing now but you might still see it as a curse but I'm telling you, you can deal with it the natural way. If you're thinking about surgery, you don't have to do it. Do it the natural way. Build your body, reduce the body fat, and you'll be fine. All right, hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give me a thumbs up so I know to create more content like this. Uh, subscribe as well if you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you on the next one.